Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at the town of Palisades Park, New Jersey. Is Palisades Park, New Jersey safe? Is it a safe place to live? And is it the type of town that you would want to live in when you make your next move to beautiful New Jersey? Located just a few miles from New York City, we have Palisades Park rich in art, culture, history, and it's such a vibrant scene when you're in Palisades Park. So let's dive into the computer and see exactly where Palisades Park lies on the map and what kind of access Palisades Park provides you to both New York City and shopping throughout the rest of Bergen County and New Jersey. You can see on our map Palisades Park outlined here in red. And of course you see the Hudson River right here to the right. And of course what lies on the other side of the Hudson River is beautiful Manhattan, New York City. Pretty famous, you might have heard of it. In Palisades Park, we can get to New York City via both the George Washington Bridge up here to the north, as well as taking 95 south and then 495 east right through the Lincoln Tunnel. So there's two routes that you could get to New York City. A lot of times one route might have traffic, so you can always take the other one. And then diving into Palisades Park, you can see right here, it's a pretty grid-based city. The main drags are both Broad Ave here and then East Central Boulevard running east to west. There's a lot of desirability right around this main drag right here on Broad Avenue. Why is that? There is so much shops, restaurants, really doctors, all kinds of stuff that you might need, that you will need right here on Broad Ave. So these streets, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, as well as over here, Highland Hillside, and then all of these side streets over here are very desirable because it offers a walkable lifestyle where you can get everything you need right here on Broad. As you get away from Broad Ave, you have a much more residential feel throughout the rest of town. So it does have a lot of commercial business right here on Broad. There's also a lot of commercial business up here on Bergen Boulevard or Route 63. But at the heart of it all, Palisades Park is a very residential town. Now let's say you're banking on public transportation to get to the city every day. We do have the public transportation route right here. And as you can see, this is an insanely quick commute into New York. To get to New York City by 9 a.m. on a weekday, you'll see you just hop on the bus on Broad Ave and you're in the city in 24 minutes. It is an express bus. So after it leaves Palisades Park, it pretty much jumps on the highway and takes you right into the city. And of course, the New York City commute from New Jersey on New Jersey Transit offers you the bus lane over here on 495. So when you get off of 95 south on the bus, you get your own bus lane that no commuter traffic is allowed to drive in and it it eliminates traffic on the morning commute. So you don't have any, tra any traffic going to the city with your bus route. It's really nice that you have a consistent 24 minute commute if you are a Palisades Park resident. Some people even just drive into Palisades Park just to park their car and take the bus because of how quick it is. It's, it's an amazing commute, really good for young professionals, really good for all commuters who wanna to go to New York City to either work or play. Now, before we go any further, one of the most frequently asked questions about Palisades Park is, is Palisades Park safe? Well, I've been around Palisades Park. I actually live in Palisades Park right now. And Palisades Park is safe due to a variety of factors. One of the main reasons is the low crime rate in town. Palisades Park has a very low crime rate, especially compared to other towns in not only New Jersey, but throughout the rest of America. These factors, in addition to its proximity to New York City and other things that we'll be discussing in this video, are what cumulatively make Palisades Park such an awesome place to live. Now that we've answered your big question, let's go into Palisades Park and talk about what it's actually like to live here. Because when you're in Palisades Park, there's actually so few reasons to leave town. Maybe you just might want to go one town over in Fort Lee over here, just because they got a couple more restaurants that you might want to fancy. In town, you have a ton going on right in the heart. Mama Chicken, I see it popping up right here. Famous Korean chicken spot. You have Susahang Pancha, which I just call Supo, and all the locals call Supo as well. But this is an awesome late night spot where you can drink and eat food till two o'clock in the morning. Cafe Leah 
You'll see students studying here on the regular and it's a cafe that's open late. So really Palisades Park just has all of these places that are open all night long. You can drink, you can eat, you can have coffee, sit down, work, study. It's really got it all. Brand new Paris baguette. There's so much going on here. You do have your shop right in Palisades Park right here across the train tracks right next to Overpeck County Park and Field. This is actually a county park and I think Overpeck is absolutely awesome. Look how big it is. So there's a giant river basin that opens up here and you can walk across the bridge over here. Let's see if we can get the uh, aerial. There we go. So you can actually walk across this bridge. It's really, really nice. And there's a huge walking trail. This is all walkable. So you can get your walk in. You can ride your bike on this trail. You can play baseball in the park. They got basketball, tennis courts, pickleball courts, all sorts of good stuff. And then they also have a dog park over here. And I like the dog park over here because it's actually split in two sections. This is the section for the big dogs and this is the section for the little dogs. As you can see, the park pretty much feels like it goes on forever because it is absolutely massive. In addition to all the shops, restaurants, parks, you do have the Palisades Swim Club right here next to the park. And then you also have the Palisades Park Library where there are a ton of community events. Palisades Park is a town for somebody who wants to be active in the community. You don't see a lot of hermits necessarily in Palisades Park. Now we know Palisades Park has amazing attractions, amazing parks, a great community. It's very safe. But what kind of houses do you get in Palisades Park? Well, Palisades Park has a very unique housing situation. It's a medium density living town. And what do I mean by that? Well, back in the 80s, the zoning ordinances opened up so that 50 by 100 or larger lots can go from single family zoning into two family zoning. So what did they do? The developers back in the 80s started knocking down these single family lots and putting up these duplexes. So this is a two family house technically. However, you can sell them by the side. So you can buy a single family here, put up a duplex, and then sell each side individually for over a million dollars, over $1.1 million in most cases, all the way up to $1.5 million these things sell for. So it's a very cool town because of that. And what you get because of this is cheaper property taxes living in Palisades Park. But not only do you get cheaper property taxes, but thanks to the fact that you have basically no front lawn, there's very low maintenance. So you essentially get your own house with very low maintenance and low property taxes minutes from New York City. And look at that beautiful sunset. You're actually uh, in a very hilly town in Palisades Park. So at the tops of the hills, you get crazy sunsets that either overlook New York City or overlook the western New Jersey horizon. Really, really cool stuff going on in Palisades Park right here. So between a food scene that is vibrant and open late to beautiful architecture and awesome real estate, low property taxes, low maintenance, low crime, Palisades Park offers so much to mostly young professionals and families who want to be extremely close to New York City and want to avoid Bergen County's high property taxes. If this sounds like the perfect concoction of factors for you, then Palisades Park very well may be your next destination in New Jersey. If you like this video, please drop me a like. If you want to see more information about other towns and more information about Palisades Park on this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And then, of course, if you want to buy a house in Bergen County, in Palisades Park in particular, I'm just an email away. Shoot me an email. There's no commitment. I answer all the questions super easy. I am here for you. My job is to serve and act as a fiduciary for clients, both buyers and sellers, which means that it is my job and it would be illegal if I didn't do it to act in your best interest. So without further ado, my name is Tyler Sellers again from Two Win Realty in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.